let's go to this audio section right here. I'm going to hit Z to zoom. Say I want to chop out the snare. I hit Command E to chop it out. Say I want to take this whole section, I want to consolidate it. Command J is consolidate. So now I have a full track for the kicks and full section for the snares. And if I wanted to just cut this section, I can hit Command E, like I said. If you want to map to record, just hit Command K. Click record and then map any key to it and then hit Command K again. In Ableton, if you're in the piano roll, you can double click to enter in MIDI, or if you hit B, you can draw in MIDI notes. So that's another shortcut that is good. It makes the pencil tool and then you can draw it in. Another key command I like is Command Option B closes and opens the browser. Command Option L opens and closes the bottom part of the window. Command Option I opens and closes the input source. Tab goes between clip mode and arrangement mode. If you highlight a clip and click zero, it mutes it. So you deactivate it or reactivate it by clicking zero. Or you can select a bunch of them, deactivate, reactivate. Command T, new audio track. Command Z, undo. Command Shift T, new MIDI track. Another one, Command Option U, if you do any comping, that will open up your take lanes. Okay, so another one, if you're on a MIDI track, if you want to make a MIDI clip, say I want to make an eight bar MIDI clip, you just highlight, shift command M, and then you make a MIDI clip. If you're in a MIDI track, right, and you want to make the grid smaller, command one makes the grid smaller. Command two makes it wider. So one smaller, two wider, Command three activates triplets. You can see in the bottom right corner. So we're in 116 triplet and then command three regular. Command four turns off the grid altogether. So you know the grid is off when you see the dotted lines and then command four to turn on the grid. So command one, two, three, and four. Command option O. So th this is the overview bar. Command option O turns off or on the overview bar. Command shift R is the export menu. Command shift S is the save as menu, which I like to use for saving different file types. Command S is just save, but if you hit command S, it will save over whatever version you have. Command shift S saves as a new version. If you highlight a section, and hit command I, it inserts time. So say I want to insert this much time, command I, boom, inserts time at the beginning. If I highlight a clip and hit Command D, it duplicates that clip. If I highlight a section and hit Command D, it duplicates that section, but it overwrites whatever's next. If you want to duplicate this section without overwriting the next section, Command Shift D duplicates the whole section and it pushes everything after it to the side. So it makes a whole new section, Command Shift D. Command Shift Delete deletes that whole section. So if I delete this, boom. If I want to just delete this section, highlight that, deletes the whole section. Command Option R opens or closes the returns. If you want to transpose MIDI notes, hold down Shift up, transposes up, and Shift down, transposes down. Obviously, you know, you can move the notes by hitting right or left. So if you're zoomed in, you can hit Command Option and a little glove comes up and you can click around the track. I normally don't use that, but that's kind of dope. That's pretty cool. I didn't know about that. So holding down command, scrolling the mouse wheel, zooms in vertically, option, horizontally, whatever track is selected. And then, like I said, HW, height and width. If the grid is on, it snaps. So as I highlight, it snaps and blocks. Command one, even when you're here, makes smaller grid. Command two, bigger grid. Command three, triplet, and command four, the grid is off. So if the grid is on and I'm highlighting, say I want to zoom into a specific section, like the grid is activated, but say I just want to get a little piece of the note. If you hold down command, it temporarily turns the grid off so you can get very granular with your selection.
or you can just turn the grid off, but I tend to like to hold down control when I'm selecting so I can get granular with it. Say you have a MIDI track on and you're just jamming some stuff. So I just played those vocal chops, but I wasn't recording. Ableton has a feature called Capture where it captures everything you do in the background. To capture what you played and get it on the screen, Command Shift C. And you can see that just showed up. So that's what I just played right there. I love that feature. That is my favorite feature in Ableton. It completely changed the way I made music. Now I don't record stuff in a lot of times. I just play it in and hit Command Shift C. Those are just some key commands that I use and you guys use. Those are just some good ones. Those are some good key commands. I thought it would be cool to talk about those and it's cool that everyone's chiming in with some of you guys' favorite key commands. Decal.